welcome back to my channel so today I am going to recreate a look that I did on Instagram a lot of you guys asked me to recreate this look it's a really pretty fall orangey and red makeup tutorial so I did use a couple of palettes here and um, yeah but in this video I am doing a talk through so it's not gonna be a voiceover so hopefully the video won't be that long but I wanted to do a talk through because a lot of people have been asking me to do that and I figured why not I haven't done one in a long time so let's just get into it and I'm gonna show you guys let me just take my phone I'll show you guys the picture that I posted on Instagram that a lot of you guys wanted to see which I thought was so pretty so hopefully you guys can see that that's the look that I posted and it's just such a pretty fall look and yeah so I just decided to recreate it today because I'm off of work so I've already moisturized my face that's why I look a little oily this is the first thing I'm going to use on my face and it is the Becca backlight priming filter I just got this about two weeks ago and I'm not sure if I'm loving it yet or even if I feel like it does anything I did start using it and I started to notice a little breakout so I'm hoping that it's not that I'm hoping that it's just maybe me stressing out or something so then I like to also go in with my Tarte and this is their Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer Base. I actually have been loving this guys. This just makes your pores pretty much like disappear. So I just put this right here where I have my biggest pores and I also like to put this right underneath my eyes. Um, I have small fine lines underneath my eyes and I feel like this just fills it in. On another note, don't mind my nails. I'm going to get them done today. Um, but I didn't want to not film just because of my nails and you guys know I never walk around like this but you know shit happens so yeah basically like to let that set in my skin while I do my eyes and we're gonna go in with the eyes first because this is pretty much kind of shimmery I guess you would say so um, I'm going in with this Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer I did use this yesterday for the first time and I don't know how I feel about it because you guys know I'm used to using my MAC, the Soft Ochre Paint Pot or my um, Painterly. So I'm just trying to use different things but I feel like this is really good. Um, a really good alternative. Oh, so I'm going to take this Juvia's Place palette. This is the Masquerade one. And if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you guys hear me talk about this all the time or even Instagram because I love Juvia's Place. And I will link them down below for you guys if you don't know who they are. They're really affordable makeup palettes and the pigmentation is like insanity. They have three palettes. I only have the two here, but I think they're coming out with a brand new one in November. So I'm super excited. So I'm just going to take this color here and this is called Burkina. And this is like a nice like brown warm shade. And I'm going to put that right into my And the brush I'm using for this it is my BH cosmetics blending brush you guys have probably seen me use this brush a ton of times I just like the way it just gets right into that crease so I'm just gonna put this right into the crease and this is a really pretty transition shade and then we're gonna be working with a lot of like orange and things like that so I feel like this is such a nice shade to like kind of start off with then another thing that's going on pretty much in my life is that we have to move again and I know we just moved here in May but we're gonna have to move again which sucks and today we're going to see an apartment because we can't seem to find any houses where that we like or you know like in the vicinity that we like um, so now we have to look at some apartments so that's maybe what's making me stressed out a lot too so now i'm just gonna take a mac shadow and this one is called rule this is one of my favorite mac shadows i'm just gonna go in and put this right into the crease as well i want it to peer right out from underneath and that's why i kind of like lift and just make sure i get that all into the crease right there and you guys don't have to be so precise with this because remember you don't have any face makeup on so we're gonna clean all this up in a little bit so anyway so now i'm just gonna go in with red brick and the red brick i want to take um 
I'm just going to use this Sigma E25 brush and I'm going to concentrate this color like right here on the outer corners. So it's going to be more diffused into that crease color. And then I just want to bring it in just a little bit slightly. Now we're just going to concentrate on the lid and I'm going into the Nubian palette and this is another palette by Juvia's Place and I'm going to take this color right here. It doesn't have a name on it but it's so funny because when they did Masquerade, I think this was the last palette they made, they put the names on it because I don't know, I think it's just more appealing when they have the names to the shadows. But anyway, so we're going to go in with this color here brush i really honestly love to use and then we're just gonna wet it with a little fix plus and this brush is by altar beauty i think this is from amazon but it's one of my favorite brushes and i like it just because look at how thick it is and big it is i know that didn't sound right but anyway so we're just gonna pat this right on the lid and we're gonna go right up to that crease I've used this palette so many times that I have to stop myself every day from using it. That and my Anastasia Renaissance palette, those two palettes, like the Juvia's Place palettes and the Renaissance palette, I have to stop myself because I will use them every single day. I'm going to go in now on top of that and I'm using this Sigma Gilded Loose Shimmer. That's the name of it, Gilded. So then, see? It's just like, I don't know just the song thing this gold is so pretty i've been loving gold lately i don't know what it is i don't know for the last couple of months i have to like stop myself from using gold every day because i think i love it then we want to go back in with that bh cosmetics brush with no product on it and i just want to blend everything in you don't want any harsh lines here so you just want to make sure you blend it all in So now going back into the Masquerade palette, I'm just going to take this color here called Ada. It's Ada and Zulu, and I'm going to mix those two colors here, these like warm brick red colors. But this one is more of a brown, and this one's more of like a brick. And I'm just going to mix those two. So I'm going to use this Morphe E28 brush for that. I'm just going to put them right back and forth and just go in right here. Just gonna concentrate that right on the outer corner and this is where that orange comes in i feel like it just brings it out and makes it stand out a little bit more it needed like some dimension in there so now i'm just gonna go in with max blank blank type and i'm gonna put that right in my brow right underneath my brow bone I'm just going to pull it out a little bit more. Guys, now I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. And I'll probably fast forward this because this is going to take me at least probably like maybe six minutes to do alone. So I'm going to use this TARDIS. What is this? My TARDIS Double Take Eyeliner. So before putting any lashes on, I like to do my face first. Lashes is the last thing I like to put on for some reason. But anyway, so I'm gonna go in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear and the color I use is Ivory Beige. And try to get a sample because you guys are really going to like it because I do. And I've been breaking out a little bit here. I don't know if you guys can see along my jawline. And I know it's hormonal because that's what happens to me when I get stressed out or anything like that. So um, yeah, so I this covers it really nicely and it does kind of do like a good job at hiding that for me. So you see how nice this foundation looks. I swear, it just looks 
so nice on the skin it just covers everything and i'm telling you guys i don't really have too many like dark spots anymore just a few here and there but i am breaking out right here you guys could probably see a little bit and it's a buildable foundation so the only thing i hate about it is that you have to put it on the back of your hand and then you kind of waste a lot of product because it doesn't have a pump but i think my mac pump might fit into that i have to see i might have to try it so that that way i could buy a pump and the pump i think is like ten dollars you get it from any mac store so that might work so i'll think about doing that so this looks just about done ocd like whenever i use anything unless i'm running late to work i have to put it back in the drawer where it went so I'm like, i can't deal with myself sometimes i can't okay so now i'm gonna go in with my concealer and the concealer that i used or i have been using i don't know it varies because i go between this one and i go between the Too faced one because i love the Too faced one but i've been using the studio skin um the smashbox studio skin one and i really like it and i heard the foundation is really nice too and i'm gonna be trying that as well so just making sure i put this on my eyes just Then I'm going to go again with my beauty blender and blend it all in. I honestly, I don't use any brushes anymore to blend in my concealer. I just feel like the beauty blender works so much better and it's quicker and it just blends everything in. I used to use a brush, but I feel like with the beauty blender, um, it just, I don't know, it just makes it look so much more flawless. And you know what beauty blender I really want to try? I want to try that tart one, the purple tart one. So I think I might buy that one because I really want to try it because I heard that it's really good. And then Morphe I know has a beauty blender as well, but I haven't really heard anything about that yet, but I've heard the Tarte one. I put my moist beauty blender right in there and just bake a little bit. I don't bake too much. Um, I mean, I still bake, but I don't do it as heavy as I used to because I feel like when I did, I would have creases underneath my eyes and I hated it. It was by like maybe the maybe the fourth hour of having my makeup on, I would have like a crease underneath my eyes. So I think I don't have any more on this one. I think that's why it's really hard to come out. I wish I could take the sifter thing out. Does anybody know how to do that? I'm wondering, how can I take that out? So now I'm gonna go in with my Hula Bronzer by Benefit Cosmetics. And I am going to take, because I really don't want it to be like really precise like a contour. So I'm going to take this Real Techniques. It's a blush brush and I feel like it's just going to like blend it out a little bit better. And I just want to keep it on the cheeks obviously, but not so contoured out. I want to just contour a little bit down my nose. Nothing crazy, but let's see. I'm going to grab this morphe e15 brush and it's this um really thick shader brush and um i can't even explain it it's like really dense i want to i don't want to do anything crazy but just a little bit just to slim it down my nose is chubby i know that sounds so funny my nose is chubby but i don't want to say i have a big nose because i don't but it is chubby so there you go see look at that snatched that's how I like it f25 brush i always use this brush this is like one of my favorites so i'm just going to take that and dust it off so in the picture i did have blush and obviously but i had um the nars deep throat blush but the one i have is actually in this palette i think this was like two years ago this was their virtual domination cheek palette that i got and i hardly ever use this look at this it's so ridiculous because it's hiding in the drawers that's why i never use it using a morphe g7 brush my favorite brush to use for blush I usually go ham when it comes to blush, but today we want it to look a little bit more subtle. It's just, this blush is so pretty. I don't know, this has to be one of my favorite blushes too. Um, along with my NARS Madly, this definitely has to be hands down one of my favorite blushes. So I'm gonna go in and use my Laura Gala Gilded Honey. Oh, I love this stuff, it's so good. 
but what I like to do in order to get it like that highlight popping is I like to spray my brush and ever since I got this brush I cannot do my highlight without it it's the Anastasia A23 highlight brush I love it it's so pretty and then I like to put a tip a little bit there and then a little bit down my nose I mean, guys, look at this highlight. This is ridiculous. That highlight is like totally ridiculous. So now I just want to go in and I'm doing a different color underneath the eyes because I wanted it to pop a little bit more. So I'm taking a green color. You guys don't have to use this. You can use the um, orange color. You can go in with the red brick color, but I wanted to do something different. So I kind of wanted to use like more of um, a different pop of color. And I used a little bit of this green underneath my eyes. And I'm gonna go in with an It Cosmetics brush and it's the double-ended one. And I'm just gonna put this underneath. So now going back in, I want to highlight my inner corners and I'm gonna do that again now with Gilded Honey. And I'm just gonna take this same brush that I was using, this pencil brush, and just put that right in the inner corners. Okay guys, so I just popped on my falsies and I'm just gonna go in with the lip now. And I'm just changing it up. It's not gonna be the same color from the Instagram post, but I'm using MAC Bittersweet Pencil. And then I'm gonna go in with Gerard Cosmetics Boss Lady. I just think these two combined are really pretty. like perfect for fall oh my god so guys i am back i just had to let my battery charge up a little bit i just fixed my hair and just threw on some clothes so um that's pretty much the end of the video i did throw on a gloss on top of this because i just wanted it to be a little bit different and i've been feeling gloss lately so i threw on the matte cosmetics lip glass in spite just right on top of it just for a nice glossy look so this is the finished look guys i just changed up the lip from the instagram photo if you guys want to see the other lip color that I used in the Instagram photo I will leave the link to my Instagram here somewhere for you guys and of course it's always in my description bar so you guys can see what color lip I use for that and that is it guys I hope you enjoyed this talk through video and I'll probably be doing a lot more of these because it was super fun to do and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys